going to talk about backup options. You know how they say that you should carry two cell phones in your car, two smartphones, in case the first one breaks, you have something else, like uh, a track phone or a cricket phone or something like a prepaid thing that you just have in the glove box, just in case, just in case. You, uh, your primary phone doesn't work, battery dies, and you just need something you can turn on and go, well, the same can be said for navigation. Because one of the worst things that can happen, especially in unknown territory, is driving around and your navigation, be it infotainment, phone, or Garmin itself, fails. You're put into a state of panic, panic is bad, you just want to be able to reach in the glove box, grab something, turn it on, get a signal, and get you home, or wherever it is you're going. So, And I'm going to talk about what I would recommend personally, just to have something in the car that actually works. I'm going to start with this guy, the 1100. Now, this is a no-frills unit, uh, the 1100 LM. The best part about this thing is five hour battery life. And yes, it will get it. Now the great thing about one of these is that these are dirt cheap. You can throw a 32 gig memory card in this, charge it up once, put it in the glove box. And here's the best part. You could just leave it there without a charger. If you charge this thing once a year, just once a year. It will last for about, uh, well, off of a full charge, five hours after sitting in a glove box for a year, probably will have at least two and a half hours, three hours left. So all you do is just grab it out of the glove box and you just turn it on and off you go. That is the beauty of the 1100. It is the most uh, basic of well, no, Street Pilot i3 is a little more basic than this. The most basic Nuvi I have. This thing just has next to no features in it. But the point is, I can take this out of the box and let it grab a signal and just off I go. Next one is the Nuvi 30LM. There it is, 30 LM. This does not have quite the battery life of the 1100 LM. This one is about three, three and a half, four hours, but the same thing is true about this one in the respect that you can give this a full charge, throw it in the glove box, and as long as you remember to charge it once a year, after sitting in a year, it probably will have about an hour left. Maybe 90 minutes. Maybe 90 minutes. The advantage of this one is that it's a little faster than this one. It's faster to acquire signal. It doesn't have any stutter or pause or anything like that when you're doing any searching. There's no traffic in this. Isn't Okay, technically, I can get traffic out of this, but technically this is a non-traffic unit. This is definitely a non-traffic unit. Nice to have, though. You can just throw this in. The oh, yeah, and it has a better speaker on it, too. And it has text-to-speech. This thing does not have text-to-speech. This is a pre-recorded voice. This actually has text-to-speech. So that's nice about this one. Next up on the list. Now, before continuing, notice I'm not showing any 5-inch models. That's on purpose. Because you need something small and compact that just goes in the glove box or in storage somewhere in your car where it's just out of the way. Okay, when we get to these guys, the 4.3 inch models, you do need a charger. And the great thing about both of these that I'm going to show and this one and the one after it is that you can get traffic with the TA20 charger, which is actually the one I recommend if you are in an area with traffic coverage. A TA20, GTM 36, or GTM 60, all three of those, or even a TA10, so you got four to choose from. TA10, TA20, GTM 36, GTM 60, 
four different chargers. The TA20 is what I'd recommend. And uh, you, you can get traffic with this, assuming that you have coverage. So this guy right here is the uh, 2455 LMT. Doesn't show a T, but it is a T. This also counts for the 2595. This is what you carry as a spare if you need traffic reporting and you need a little bit more comprehensive search and such. And the great thing about it is it's this one is configured as you can set it up like a phone so it's vertical and you can do the same with the one I'm going to show in a second here. Uh, this one is about on par with this and this one as far as screen brightness is concerned. So this one plus the previous two You've got genuinely daylight readable matte screens on all of them, which is great. This one notably is a little bit on the slow side, but once it gets, you know, you, you start your navigation, <clears throat> excuse me, it's fine after that. Um, as far as 4.3 inch models are concerned that have traffic like this one, this is probably the most legible of the lot. And let me just turn that off. There we go. Off you go. Lastly, we have 2457 and 2497. The 97 in particular is the fastest of the 4.3s. Um, I believe the 2497 LMT was the last 4.3 Garmin made. Pretty sure about that. And like the other one, you can set this portrait style. Make it, use it like a phone. And that's cool. Now notably this has the dimmest screen of the lot, but the advantage is it has the fastest op fa excuse me fastest operation um, it has the most comprehensive traffic reporting again if you're in an area with traffic uh, that has uh, traffic coverage it, uh, it does not have foursquare but you really don't need that in a, uh, a backup GPS and under the apps section you get do you get anything more than with the I don't think so. I think the uh, feature set for the apps is the same as on the 2455. Oh, there is one major thing. When you're viewing the map, this is the only one that will show the current street at the bottom of the map while you're traveling. That's This is the only one that will do it out of the ones that I've shown. So, okay. All that being said, Which one should you pick? Which one should you pick? What's out of these four? What which one do you think is the best of the lot? Well, I'll tell you what I think is the best of the lot. This one. The most basic. Why? It's the battery life. That's why. That's why you get an 1100 or a 1200. Uh, I think the 1100 is a little better than the 12, even though the 12 has more features in it. It's all about that battery life. When you need something like in an emergency, this is the one you grab and turn on and just click it into its little mount and go. And there's another advantage to having one of these little three, three and a half inch models too. If it's in any car, any car and when you do not need that charger requirement for a few hours while well, you know you get your primary navigation back working again you just stick it to the glass there's no wires hanging there's none of that that is why these th this is why i was so happy i got a pair of these things i got my first one and i'm like oh my god i have got to get a second one of the and i did i did not hesitate to buy these and it was so cheap to get one of the and it's LM so it totally has the uh, latest maps on it I think I can show that right here yeah there it is lower for it's only lower 49 states I'm in the USA so it's fine this is a okay now I have no issue with this thing whatsoever 
So as far as having a backup is concerned, and, and look how thin that is. Oh yeah, I should notice note that too. This is the it's even thinner than the. Uh, if I can get that focus there, let's try that again. Is it gonna do it? Yeah, it's about as good as it's gonna get. It is thinner than the uh, 30. Although this is not a bad unit, it's still thinner than the 30 LM. So it's thin, really easy to mount mount on the glass. Best battery life by far. It's ridiculously basic, but you know that's what you need. It does it, well, actually, what you need is does it work? Yes, it works. In in an emergency situation, you take that out of the box, out of the glove box, you put it in its mount, you turn it on in its mount on the glass, wait for a signal, and just put in the destination go it'll get you home <laughs> yeah that's my recommendation but any one of these any one of these four is a good choice it is a good choice i also i'll give my number two recommendation this is number one you would think this would be number two but it's actually the 2455 which is number two it's just I fi because the battery life between these two roughly the same. That's why, because in the end I base it on battery life. So this, 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 then this. My four recommendations for a backup: Should you carry one? Yes, you should. But also remember, carry a compass and a paper map too, just in case.